Okay guys, Warren Williams from warrenwilliamscoaching.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Totem Pole of Health. The Totem Pole of Health represents the model that we as Czech practitioners use to actually assess and coach people to wellness. Now, uh, homeostasis is a state of balance and equilibrium, which is using this Totem Pole. The Totem Pole represents what we call the survival reflexes of the body, the most important survival needed for the body in order for you to be able to function every single day. Now, we have respiration, then we have mastication or the moving of the jaw, opening and closing of the jaw. We have the visual system, the auditory system, then we have the cervical spine, or what people call the neck. Next after that we have digestive, and then the limbic emotional system, the um, sacral, or sacral congeal, or the sacrum and the pelvis, and then we also have um, the slave joints. The slave joints are everything else. Now most practitioners work from the slave joints, the arms and legs, knee injuries, shoulder injuries, and so on. But we actually look at the priorities of the body and address those with lifestyle coaching, and as well as exercise and musculoskeletal balance. So today I'm going to talk to you about two of those in each video we produce. I'll go through more detail on each one of these top and and let you understand why it's so important to do this. Respiration is the first one. Now, the most important thing for the body is to survive through breath. Now, if somebody was in a coma, the most important thing that needs to happen is ventilation. So they put them on a respirator. That's because you don't need to have big biceps and six pack to survive. You only need to breathe. So the brain will die within two minutes of having a lack of oxygen. So we know respiration is so key to the body. The average person breathes about 16,000 times a day. So that means every single one of those breaths, if they're shortened, will retard function, health, oxidation, emotion, and so on. Now, when somebody's emotionally stimulated, the first thing that goes is their breath. So people say, so calm down, calm down. So you see it in the way they breathe. They start to breathe faster, hyperventilate, and so on. Now, when somebody is over respirating, what happens is they start to breathe from their collarbone. They start to breathe upwards, so they no longer engage their diaphragm. So what happens is it creates compensation in the neck and the shoulder area where these muscles start to become hypertonic and happy to work. So you may find somebody has an elevated shoulder and so on. So that's the importance of respiration. Mastication, the jaw opens and closes, so the position of the jaw is so important and key to make sure you have optimal health. The average jaw opens and closes 4,000 times a day. So making sure the position of the jaw is correct will keep function of the shoulders, head, neck and spine.